Today I got some brand new news for you guys for Super Mario Bros. Wonder. And I'm honestly really excited to talk about this game. We hadn't talked about Mario Wonder in some time, and it's arguably the biggest game releasing for Nintendo Switch this month. And we have some brand new news today detailing boss information. So if you're looking for more details on how boss fights are going to go, we got some details for you there. And also details on how difficult the game is. And this information is coming directly from Nintendo, so I'm very excited to share this to you. First, though, I need to remind you we are on our road to 150,000 subscribers. So I would appreciate if you would subscribe to the channel. Go ahead and drop a like, and why not hit that bell icon to be notified of all future uploads. All right, so what are we talking about here? Well, there was a major interview done with Game Informer featuring the producer and director of the games. Those being Takahashi Tezuka, the producer, and Shiro Mori, the director. And if I butchered those names, I apologize. I'm not always bad at pronouncing all these Japanese names. That being said, let's dive into this interview because the director of Mario Wonder, Shiro Mori, told Game Informer the following. What you played is just a really very thin slice of what's in store. And there are a lot wilder more inventive experiences in the full version. More than that would be a spoiler. So I just want to encourage you to give it a try and really experience it for yourself. Now what Maury's referring to are the demos for Mario Wonder that have been floating around at various media and public events since Nintendo Live happened in Seattle last month. So he's just saying what you're playing here doesn't fully represent how difficult this game really gets. And there's so much more crazy stuff that happens later. And so I also think he's reassuring people that feel like, hey, they're showing too much in this game. They're spoiling too much. And he's kind of saying you haven't really seen anything yet. So kind of crazy to think how insane the level designs could get in Super Mario Bros. Wonder deeper into the experience. Now, more than that, he also went on to say, it's really going to be quite challenging to be able to collect all of the badges. So if you feel confident in your Mario playing skills, I do implore you to give it a shot. And of course, he's like, hey, go ahead and try to 100% this game. It's going to be difficult. I really want the better, you know, the, the more skillful Mario fans to really attempt to 100% this game. Now, Tezuka, the producer of the game, wanted to step in because he's actually had quite a hard time completing the game. Here's what he had to say. No matter how hard I tried, I just couldn't get the last one. He's talking about the badges. Up until now, I have completed pretty much every single Mario game that I've worked on, and he's been working on the series since the very beginning. But for this one, I did have to have help with two courses. All the rest I did myself. There were two courses where I couldn't complete every aspect there was to complete. I'm just not as skilled as the other staff members. As for the most challenging stages, I'm glad it's at the difficulty level it is because creating courses based on my skill level would surely make it feel lacking for many players. Now, Mori had to go on to add this about boss battles, which, oh, man, I'm really looking forward to the bosses in this game. Right off the bat, we felt that the boss battles themselves also needed some kind of new coat of paint. When I was considering what kind of boss battle experiences would fit in this title, I came to the conclusion that they would have to be using the powers of wonder. This is stepping into spoiler territory, so I'm not going to be able to share much, but just expect a lot of wonder-induced attacks. Of course, that doesn't really tell us anything because the wonder flowers seem to do completely different things every time we touch them in different stages. So, yeah, the attacks are going to be wonder flower based, but that doesn't really even tell us anything. It's a really great way to tease like new mechanics in the game without actually telling us what those mechanics are going to be. I, for one, am really looking forward to those boss fights. But more than anything, I think what I'm relieved the most hearing about from this interview is how difficult the game's going to be. They really wanted to up the ante and make this a harder game 
than maybe we're accustomed to with, say, the new Super Mario Bros. series. And that, to me, is something that I really, really cherish. I'm just really thankful for it. So I do want to just really in the end here, give a thanks to the Mario team for giving us what looks like to be the most inventive and one of the more difficult games in the franchise's history. And I can't wait, guys. It comes out October 20th. If you do have a pre-order link down in the description below, if you don't happen to have it pre-ordered yet, I know I got to get my pre-order in still because I really want to play this game day one. We'll probably do a launch live stream for it. Guys, I am just so excited for Mario Wonder. I honestly, it, if I'm if I'm just being like look, look like looking at me like I'm I'm very serious here. This is the most excited I have been for a Mario game. I mean, side scrolling Mario. Game, I, that's just what we were I was really excited for Mario Odyssey and Mario 3D All Stars. But when we're talking about just a side scrolling Mario game, I don't think I've been this excited since Super Mario World. Like, yeah, new Super Mario Bros, you know, on the DS, and we were exciting to finally revisit side-scrolling Mario. But I'm going to be honest, I wasn't, like, super hyped about it. It, it kind of just, like, like, more of what I experienced as a kid. But Super Mario World had me really, really hyped as a child, and I haven't felt this level of expectation since then and this level of joy and excitement and anticipation. I mean, there are people who have played the demo, you know, the media demo available, that have gone out on social media and said, I don't know what it is, but Mario Wonder feels like a game of the year level game. To hear that about a side-scrolling Mario game is insane. Now, maybe the reviews aren't going to back this up, and it's not going to you know, come close to the review scores needed to be considered for a game of the year because it is coming out in time to be considered for the Game Awards game of the year. I just... What happens if this game comes out and it's a 95 on Metacritic? What happens if it, it, it's starting to approach Tears of the Kingdom level of 10 out of 10s? Can that happen again? Like way back in the day with Super Mario World and Super Mario Bros. 3, can they have that side-scrolling Mario game that really earns that 95 plus rating? I don't know, man. It's crazy to think Nintendo might have done it again and might have done it three times this year. Remember, Metroid Prime Remaster was a 95. Tears of the Kingdom's a 96. What if this is a 95 plus? I don't... Dude, I, look, we might be in the twilight years of Nintendo Switch's life, but Nintendo just keeps releasing bangers, man. What is it about Nintendo this gen? Every year, there's just bangers, man. I don't know... I, I feel like I'm living in the twilight zone with how amazing this generation has been just from a gaming perspective. So we'll have to wait and see what our final judgment is and if my expectations are actually met when the game comes out. What I can say is we will be doing a not only a launch live stream and I'm going to play a bunch of the game after that. Uh, we on our first episode of the podcast after the game comes out. So our episode that comes out on the 25th, October 25th. We're actually planning for the core four of us on the podcast to give our impressions of the game. And while we're giving our impressions, we're actually going to play some of the multiplayer together. And maybe we'll even have more multiplayer impressions to add in while we're doing it. So going to be a really interesting podcast, especially if you watch the video version, because you're going to get that extra context of what we're experiencing in the midst of playing the game. That being said, guys, I do want to thank you so much for being here. It's been a lot of fun talking about Mario Wonder. And yes, I'm, I am actually glad to be talking about something Besides Nintendo Switch 2, I love talking about new hardware, but honestly, what does the hardware matter if we don't have the games? And we have what appears to be an incredible game literally coming out here in a couple of weeks. All right, guys, I am Nathaniel Rubblejance from Nintendo Prime, and I'll catch you in the next video.